Hi guys, in this tutorial we're going to be going over an inventory system that uses images instead of text. In this one we're not going to be able to click on our actual object and use it yet until we switch over our inventory system to buttons instead of a picture array. So in a later tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to swap that out for a button instead so you can actually use the items in your inventory but this is just showing you a little bit how an inventory would be set up so we can go into our code real quick and I'll just go over a couple of these things I'm not gonna go over everything because there's a decent amount of code but there's not too much code that it's too crazy but I'd rather just make this tutorial short everything's commented so you can go through and look at it but we just have our an array for our inventory so we've made these before for our other inventories it just stores whatever information you want in it uh, empty texture texture uh, this will be if our slot doesn't have a current item it'll just display that and our inventory size X and Y how many rows and columns we want in our inventory icon width and height so whatever your icon is if it's 64 by 64 like mine is set it for that but I have mine adjusted in the other settings in unity but you can have it set wherever you want there spacing between each icon uh, offset where the window is going to be displayed on your uh, GUI and then some of our textures and I also threw in hide inventory if you want to show or hide you're gonna have to keep buying that though so it goes through it creates um, the array of those images and there's different uh, functions for adding an item to your inventory so it finds the closest uh, empty slot and it throws whatever item you decided to add into that slot so yeah so we have K and L binded right now so it adds item either your first item or your second item right now and yeah that's pretty much the basics I also added in some functions so if you bought like an item so if you clicked on a uh, like how we set up our shop system before if you wanted to once you click the button do buy shop item one it would add that to your inventory but for this one we're just going to be using this to click we're not gonna set it to our shop system but once we start making a shop system for this game that's a little more complex than the last one uh, we will throw these in there and get that working but that's the basic code you're going to want to import uh, a couple of icons you're gonna want to uh, change the texture from a texture to a GUI for any object you want to display in your GUI you want it set to GUI or else it'll be very pixelated and not look that great and I have my icon 1, icon 2 and my empty icon now I threw this inventory script onto my main camera and I forgot to throw empty into the empty slot so empty goes there you can adjust the uh, inventory size and height and icon with height spacing and the icons you're going to be using for your items there and I set my offset to that for where I want it to display on screen so that's all you need for that we can go in here and check it out see what it does so it'll create a little inventory there for each object when you actually make your inventory you're probably going to want to make it look a lot nicer than this so with like icons could look like uh, how they are from professional the game, but this is just for testing right now. So if we press K, and then if we press L, you can see that we can place items into our inventory in whatever order we have on. So in future tutorials, we're going to try using stacking, so we can stack multiple items into one We're going to make it so we can click onto these buttons and use an item or we can click and drag them to be quick items and such, but this is just the basic uh, inventory system, how we can go about setting one up. So I guess it's not too much help right now, but in the future we will be working on this a little bit more. I'm sure there's an easy way I could add a function to get rid of one of these items randomly, but I want to make it so I can actually use these items. So. In future tutorials, we'll, we'll go over how to uh, actually use stuff from that inventory and all that fun stuff.